All right. Um, thanks for coming in, Joe. Uh, yeah, totally. It's it's nice to meet you. I, thanks. I, thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, my pleasure. <laughs> um, I I saw that uh, you know we looked over your resume. Um, you got some really interesting experience here. Experiences here. Actually. Yeah, it's a little bit all over the place, but uh, yeah, th <laughs> thank you. Well, I mean, those those tend to make the best stories, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I have yeah. a lot of stories. Yeah. I don't know if any of them are good, but yeah, we'll we'll find out. <laughs> all right. Okay, well, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, yourself, you know, whatever story you want to want to begin. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I've been in Austin for about a year, and I, I came here um, to work with that podcast, uh, The Mating Grounds. The Mating Grounds. Yeah. Okay, so they're here. Yeah, yeah, they are here. Oh, um, but we broadcast worldwide, so anybody can listen. Like, people, we have people in Mongolia who listen to the show. Really? You know? Yeah, yeah. That's I didn't know that. That's I guess they, they have podcasts in Mongolia too, so <laughs> right. who knew? Wow. Um, yeah. Um, Most of those podcasts are about yaks, though, the ones in Mongolia. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So, so the, <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, so, so, with Mating Grounds, um, did that, what drew you to that job in the first place? Uh, I had been following the uh, founder of the show for a while, uh, mm -hmm. a guy named Tucker Max, who's out of, uh, uh, I probably shouldn't say Tucker. Uh, a, a guy who's out of Austin and um, Tucker Max. I've read his books. I know Tucker Max. Yeah. What do you think? That's crazy. What do you think? Did you like his books? You know, yeah. I they're they're good for a few laughs. They're a little extreme for my taste. He's a crazy man. Uh, he's a he's very much an insane he person. Seems that way. Yeah. 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 You got to work with them. I I did. I did. That's yeah. very interesting. It was very interesting. It was uh yeah. But he's he's very smart. Uh, one of the most uh, intelligent guys I know. Very accomplished. Obviously, he's a millionaire. Um, but man, he's, he's nuts sometimes. He's yeah. nuts. Yeah. yeah. He's a lot of fun though too. Wow. That's, uh, that's wild. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, totally. Um, all if right. You, well, did you, what, what experiences did you have with the mating grounds that ultimately led you to Spiceworks? Because they're, I mean, podcasting and what we do is obviously night and day. So what led you to this? Yeah, I, I don't know if it's night and day. I mean, it's definitely different, but like the sales role I was in uh, at the mating grounds was definitely applicable here um, where I was selling uh, advertising and, and sponsorships to the show. Um, so uh, what led me to Spiceworks was, you know, one, the work at mating grounds was slowing down. It wasn't sure. kind of going on an uphill uh, trajectory. Like everyone else was going in different directions and I was kind of left with like, shit, I can't do this by myself, so I got to bounce too. And, um, and so, you know, I, I started looking at, you know, places to work and, and places that people love in Austin to work at, like the highest, like, rated employee satisfaction and Spicer was, was at the top of the list. Um, so, yeah. I, uh, so you ultimately decided to work here because you want to be satisfied as an employee. That's part of it. Uh, yeah, satisfied would be great. Um, and also a place I can kind of grow a career and grow into like a sales role, I guess. So I'm looking definitely to be in one place for a while uh, with a good group of people around and, and kind of move up in the company. And it seems, and most of the, as, as you saw, most of the, the jobs I worked were, were small um, places where um, I was doing a lot of different things, had a lot of responsibility, um, but there weren't, I guess, a lot of clear ways to move up. Um, and, and if the, and, and, and um, I didn't move up because, um, uh, fuck. Uh, uh, I, so I didn't move up, uh, not, not through a fault of my own, just because the opportunities weren't there, the companies weren't that big. Um, so I'm, I'm very much more interested in this role. Okay, so a lot of, a lot of companies fall into the criteria that you just talked about. Sure. Employee satisfaction, ability to move up, ability to grow. Why do you care about Spiceworks? Um, I would say they're very, the culture is very different than most companies. Um, like the companies I've looked at and the companies I'm applying for, um, it's not night and day, but like you know, Spiceworks is kind of this you know, crazy, kooky, weird place to work compared to other places. Uh, and that's in a very positive way I say that because it's it just means a more fun workplace um, maybe a little bit more expressive uh, and not boring um, and and it just it just seems like it'd be a better fit for me I think than than other places I've looked at mm. uh, and that's kind of why yeah I'm, I'm more interested uh, working here than other places I've I've researched and looked at right 
So, um, what, what, what salary are you looking for? Right now? Yeah. So in this role, um, I would say it's a, definitely a range. Um, anywhere from uh, $40,000 to $60,000 a year. And you know, that all depends on like, like commission and bonus structure. Like I'm very comfortable, uh, you know, working, you know, uh, based on performance and being paid on performance. Um, and if there are opportunities to uh, grow more into that, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, I'd say the range is, you know, 40 to 60. 40 to 60. Yeah. Okay. Um, and what are you currently earning at your, at your job? Yeah, uh, or at the previous job. Sure, doing? sure. Um, as kind of a general rule, I just don't really talk about like kind of previous, um, I guess, pay or, or numbers because this is a like you said, a very different role than uh, than the one at SpiceWorks. So I, I don't think it's kind of a really a relevant comparison. Um, and, and yeah, I just would rather not answer that if that's okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Um, well, do you have uh, any questions for me? Uh, yeah, what do you love the most about working here? Oh man, well, you know, just like, like I said earlier, I, I love coming to work knowing that I'm working with a lot of smart people, right. doing stuff that's making an impact. And um, I've been here for, uh, for a while now and I can't picture myself leaving. So that's we're, awesome. Yeah. We're, we're looking for people who can fit that mold, who can fit into, they're really smart. They really believe in, in the impact that we're trying to make. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, so that's why we're, we're trying to fill this role. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And um, like what, can you talk a little bit about like um, the growth opportunity here in, in this role? Like what, what does it look like? Um, like one or two years out or, or longer? Like, is there like a path up or is it very much just kind of set in this, in this kind of way? Um, so the growth opportunity is, it's what you make of it. Kind mm -hmm. of like with anything, uh, you determine, uh, what, where, where you want to go. Um, now where we can help you get there, but we expect, our employees to be communicative about where they want to go and to seek help if they really want to get there um, and, and be guided along the way. Now, we're, we, we do our best to make sure that everybody is, um, is learning, is being challenged. Yeah, that's awesome. But I'll, I'll be honest with you, you know, some, some Parts of the work aren't really like that. You know, some parts of the work are just going through taking care of administrative tasks. Uh, some parts aren't aren't a whole lot of fun. Yeah, uh, I'm very that's, used that's to part that. Of the job. Yeah, yeah, I'm very used to that because as as like a, a a team member in a smaller company, you do a bunch of different things, and you're kind of a very much a, a, 